Hi, this is Bill, K38ZP, and I'm going to introduce you to a little bit about QSK for Ham Radio, which is full break-in. I first like to <clears throat> demonstrate what full break-in is, and then in the later part of this video we'll talk about adding a full break-in to a, a SB220 amplifier. This is an ICOM 735 uh, transceiver here that will do semi and full break-in. To give an example, right now I have it just tuned up on a blank spot and into a dummy load here. Now, if normally when you're working semi break-in, when you transmit, you can hear all the sound disappears out of the radio. So if there's somebody calling you while you're transmitting, you cannot hear them. Now, if I put it in full break-in, you notice that immediately I can hear if anybody's on frequency trying to call me. Um, if, if I'm calling a DX station and he's calling somebody else, I'll immediately hear him and, and be able to get back and uh, get back in sync with him. So that's uh, what full break-in is. The next part of this we'd like to talk about adding an SB220 uh, to full break-in. The uh, first part of uh, connecting up the uh, amplifier here is to uh, <clears throat> connect up the antenna relay here, which then goes to the amp key out of the QSK box here. And that's all the control you need for the amplifier here. Now the, the RF connections, this is the RF input and that will come from the back of the QSK box here where it says amplifier input and then the transceiver goes in here and then this amplifier output comes from here this is the uh, RF output of the amplifier goes into amplifier output and then the antenna is connected to the antenna connection that's all as far as the RF and the amplifier connection are concerned. We have two more connections, uh, three actually. We have the paddle key input. I'm using the paddle right now. And um, the uh, key paddle output, this is what goes to the transceiver and keys the transceiver uh, with the paddle or key, whatever you're using. This is your normal, this comes from the transceiver also, it's called amplifier key input. And this is what your transceiver normally, the line that is used to key your amplifier. And that's all there is in connecting it up. You flip it on and, and you're ready to go. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, now I'd like to demonstrate you, uh, uh, to you uh, using QSK with the amplifier. First of all, we'll go back here again and show that what we're now using uh, QSK at the transceiver here. If I take it out of full break-in, you'll hear the noise goes away. So you, you could not hear uh, a station if they were calling you. Okay, so now we're in full QSK. And now I'll, turn you, I'll show you on the amplifier uh, what's going on here. Now the amplifier's online and I'm in full break-in and you, uh, as you can see you can hear rather it's still running full break-in now the, the idling current is still on the amplifier for three three seconds after I finish and then it turns the amplifier off if you look at the powder me power meter we're topping a, about a kilowatt here If I put a, a tone in here, you can see we're putting about a kilowatt output, uh, if you can read the heat kit uh, power meter. So here's, here's what it sounds like in semi. And you, if you keep talking, you wouldn't hear all that. Now, if you put it in full break in with the amp, you can hear between all the dits and dahs. So that's all it is. Uh, oh, uh, as far as uh, connections and putting this on air, it's very simple. Just putting all the uh, the uh, power connector in here from the power block, and the uh, amplifier is keyed here. We showed how to put in the back of the amplifier. The keying from the transceiver comes in here, 
and this is the key paddle input of the transceiver. You can put, e depending what you're using, you put either in the key input or the paddle input. And uh, uh, this is the uh, paddle key input. This always has to be a stick.